two unexplained individuals discovered themselves enamored with the same dazzling star, Elena, in the midst of the busy hallways of St. Mark's High School, where laughter blended with the aroma of adolescent fantasies. Her presence was like a sunbeam, brightening Liam and Noah's life in ways they never could have anticipated. Liam and Noah were best friends who discussed everything, including their favorite comic books and secrets. Up until the day Alina arrived, their friendship was like a symphony that reverberated throughout the campus. She became the center of their universe because of her charming smile and her compassionate heart, which was as mild as a gentle breeze. Hi, welcome to another exciting YouTube tutorial as I'll be walking you through a step-by-step -step guide on how you can start creating your own animated YouTube video and start publishing them on your channel. Stay with me till the end of this video for each step plays a very important role in your content creation. There are some tricks and strategies that I'll be sharing so be sure to follow me along. Let's get started. To create today's video, we'll do it in four parts. The first part is creating a story for our video and the third part will rephrase our video, the second part rather, and the third part will generate our voice over and the fourth part will be converting or generating our images and the last part will be converting our images into 3d video please stay along with me to the end of this video for it is very exciting so to get started we'll go to chat gpt the lot of ai writing uh softwares that you can use but for the sake of this video we will use chat gpt so i'll ask chat gpt to create me a heart touching realistic story of two boys delete the a of two boys who fell in love with the same girl up to 200 words then i'll click on enter and i wait for chat gpt to write a story for me great now that chat gpt has finished writing a very captivating interesting story for our video the second thing i'll ask chat gpt to do is to write prompts for this same story and i wait for it to create the prompts for our story Great, now that ChatGPT has finished writing prompts for us, the next thing I'll ask ChatGPT to do is to write uh, a short title for this story. And the title has to be catchy. Voila, the story title has been converted unto us. Sorry, the last part, the last, last, last part, because our, our video needs to have a very catchy thumbnail. So the other trick I would love to show you is I'll ask ChatGPT to create five prompts for generating a thumbnail for this story. I'll click on enter and wait for ChatGPT to generate those prompts that we will use to create a catchy thumbnail for our story. Great. Now that ChatGPT has finished writing down our, our five prompts that we use to create our thumbnail, the next thing I would love you to do is go through your story. Go through your story. If you don't like parts of the words that have been generated on this story, you can copy the story. Let's do this. We can copy the story. And we can rephrase the story. For you to rephrase the story, you can just go to quickbot.com and paste your story here. And the story has been pasted. This is an interesting tool that you can use to rephrase the, the content or the script that you have. And on this part, and on this dashboard, there are a number of modes that you can choose for your story. Is it standard? Is it fluent? Is it formal, academic, simple, creative? Or do you want to expand your, your mode? And there are a number of, of, of languages that you can choose for your story. Is it English, French, Spanish, or German? For the sake of this video, I'll just select on English and I'll select on standard. You can play along with this and till you get uh, your desirable uh, story or words. I'll click on paraphrase and I'll wait for it to paraphrase my story. It takes less than a minute. So now that you've finished rephrasing, because in ChatGPT there are some repeated words that it writes, so for you not to get the repeated words over and over, you can copy the script in ChatGPT and paste it here on QuickBoard and rephrase your story so that you get the desirable words and content that you need 
after you check you can play with the words here if you don't like the word unexpected you can click on it and it will bring you some other words that you can use in replace of unexpected so uh, for this tutorial sake let me choose unexplained this one i'll leave it the way it is if you're done playing with all the words the last thing you do is to come here where it says copy full text and copy the text now that we've finished copying the text the other thing we would love to do is to convert this te text to an audio and for us to do that we will go to descript so we'll go to descript dot com and the other thing that i would love you to do when you go to descript is sign up for free and download the software to your computer once you download the software on your computer log in and it will land you on this dashboard maybe yours may be empty because it, you are new to the software but mine has got a number of of audios that i've generated so you can play with the settings that are here for the sake of this tutorial just click on on drive workspace and it will bring you here and you click on new and we'll generate an audio click on audio project great so on this part we need to add a title for our our audio so for us we'll, we'll go back to chat gpt we'll copy the title we'll copy this title that chat gpt had generated for us and we'll go back to descript we'll paste our title here very good delete this one then we'll go back to our rephrased our rephrased story if you don't want your story to be rephrased copy the way it is in chat gpt and paste it in descript so that you can convert your audio but for me i'll copy the one which has been rephrased to my desired uh, outcome and i'll go back to descript and here I'll click on enter and I'll paste I'll paste my audio here my text here so that I can convert my audio I'll delete this word story and here where it says a speaker click on speaker and go to where it says stock voices and choose any voice that you would love for your for your video you can play and listen to these audios voices for this tutorial sake we choose on color once you choose your your voice artist click on the same voice artist or click on color and go where it says color with an arrow click on it and choose the type of tone that color must use there is the uh, formal one or formal two for today's you can listen to them individually and select the one that you feel suits your content for today's video we'll select this one now that we've selected everything we need we we'll wait for it to generate our our audio so that we can download it now that it has finished generating our audio there are a number of things i would love you to pay attention to number one is this button which is here you can click on it and you can choose the play speed of your audio do you want it to be too fast do you want it to be a bit slow you can play with these settings and select the play speed for your audio i'll just leave it the way it is to default and if you're finished you can come to where it says publish once you go to publish go to where it says export and make sure you select your audio to mp3 once you select your audio to mp3 click on export the other thing that we need to do is to generate images so for us to generate images we'll go to leonardo.ai just click on start using leonardo it is a free software that you can use if you want to upgrade you can upgrade great now that we are on leonardo.ai this is our dashboard when you land on this dashboard come where it says ai image generation we want to create a stunning ai image that will be generated for us we'll click on here 
you select the number of images you want to generate per prompt so each prompt has got a number of images you can select is it one or two or up to eight so for today's video i'll select on three and i want you to scroll down a bit and select the dimension of your image i'll select this one once i've finished selecting everything i'll go back to chat gpt and where our prompts are we'll start with the first prompt we'll copy the first prompt we'll go back to leonardo.ai and we'll paste our prompt here and we'll click on generate great now that we have these stunning ai images that have been generated for us we'll click on download we'll also download this one we'll just download two of them we'll go back to chat gpt we'll copy the second prompt go back to ai leonardo and we'll paste our prompt we'll click on generate great now that we have these awesome images we'll save them to our desktop we'll keep on repeating the same process until we are done with all of our prompts now that leonardo.ai has finished generating the stunning images for us the next thing that we need to do is to convert these images into a 3d video so the software we use today is called runway.com so on runway.com this is where we're going to convert our images into 3d videos what we will actually do when we land on this page is the number of features you can play with here this is our home dashboard and you can watch some videos that they have on this dashboard and you can generate videos you can edit videos you can add audio and subtitles you can also generate images using this same uh, site and you can also edit images but our main focus in today's video is not turning text to video but turning images to video so we'll click on this one and here we'll drag you can upload or you can select and drag your file here so i'll just upload i'll go to where my files are select this one click on open and i wait for it to load once it has finished loading you can come here where it says generate and you click on generate so wait for it to generate our video in a few seconds now that we've generated an awesome video uh there are a number of things i would love you to look at before we before we download the video number one is to extend to extend our you can extend your 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 length the length of your video basically it is on it is on four seconds so you can click here to extend the length of your video this is very awesome and very interesting you we'll click on download and boom my video has been downloaded we'll repeat the same process until we finish with all of our images now that we have generated our script we've rephrased it and we've converted it to an audio we've generated our 3d images and we've converted them to 3d video the other part of today's video is putting all these pieces together so that we can come up with one awesome complete youtube video for our channel and to do that we're going to edit all these pieces together using clipjump just go to clipjump.com and you come to this dashboard there are a lot of editing softwares you can use you can use Clipchamp, you can use DaVinci Resolve, you can use CutCup, you can uh, you can use Clipchamp, the number of softwares unlimited. For today's video's sake, we use Clipchamp. I will come here and I will, clear, uh, I will click on create a new video and it will bring us to this dashboard. So here we need to import our video here. So click on import and I'll select all my videos. I'll click open and all our videos and audio have been imported here excellent now that we have everything we need here i'll drag my audio this is my audio i'll hold and drag my audio on the timeline like this and i'll begin placing my my videos on top of the audio and begin editing everything 
once you are here you can play with the frame size of your of your video so that it fits your screen by just dragging at the corner of each video and once you finish playing with your frame size you can also add some transition by just clicking here on the plus button awesome now that we've finished editing our video the last part will be exporting our video onto our laptop so we'll just go to export click on continue and we'll select to it to be uh, 100 by 180 sorry which is high quality and here we'll select or we'll edit the title of our video we'll click on edit i'll go back to chat gpt i'll scroll down and i'll copy my title copy go back and i'll just delete and paste my title here awesome i'll just click on save and that is how you can save and create your awesome youtube animated video